So the, the filter sensor is probably one of the coolest sensors that uh, Smart AC is using. And the thing I really like about this sensor is that it actually measures temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity. And the, the neat thing is with barometric pressure is the impact of the dirt loading on the filter. So as this filter gets dirtier, it increases the suction on the fan side of the system. And that increase in suction tells us how loaded that filter is. So instead of using some simple time interval, we actually can use now time and change in pressure to know when that filter is actually loaded up and when the ideal time to change it is. The other sensor that's really slick with Smart AC is this water sensor. And the water sensor simply works by detecting water contacting between these two pins. So if you have a condensate line backup or an evaporator coil freeze, we pretty much know instantaneously uh, if water has hit that pan. So before things get flooded, we have an opportunity to respond. This is the last sensor in the Smart AC solution. This is actually a supplier sensor. And I think one thing worth noting is Smart AC is sort of thought of everything because this is a plastic register. And obviously, a magnetic sensor really doesn't work that great with a plastic register. But what they have here is a, uh, a clip that clips on to the register. But not only does it clip on, but allows us to get the ideal uh, angles that we're sensing the air coming into the sensor for optimum placement. And so that supplier sensor, what it's looking at is the supplier temperature and supplier relative humidity. And then there was a lot of engineering that actually went into the back of this uh, sensor so that it makes sure that air is directed into the sensor before it mixes with the surrounding room air. So this actually gets a real good and trained uh, set of air so that we get a good representation of the temperature and humidity leaving the duct.